Hello grade seven, here's your tutorial video for 10, lesson 10.1 in math today. If we just look at the instructions at the beginning on uh, Schoology, it says uh, we're gonna find and copy the definition of congruent into your notebook. Hopefully we remember that definition from earlier in the year. And then we have some steps to complete, steps A to E. I'm gonna work through some of those with you. And, uh, and then after we're finished the steps, we'll answer reflecting questions one to three and those will go to the reflecting drop box on Schoology. So let's get started. Um, we'll need to print off several copies of these prisms. I've uh, made a few of them here already to demonstrate uh, part of the steps but, but uh, you'll want to make sure you do all of them um, and maybe once we demonstrate you can see some things that might save you a little time doing that as well. So let's look at the steps. Here we have how can, you how can you design packages that will pack into cartons with no gaps between them? So step A, make several congruent prisms from nets. Use the nets whose bases have three, four, five, or six sides. So what we're talking about is the bases that, that we see at the top here. There'd be one at the bottom as well. Um, the, uh, the printouts that you have here do all of that. So if you uh, print off maybe uh, four or five copies of each of those, uh, that'll give you enough nets to make the prisms that you need. Once we've got the prisms made, we need to start looking at the next step. Step B, do the prisms pack so that there are no gaps? If we look at the hexagonal based prism like this, we notice that there are no gaps when we put them together. It makes a full circle here. Now think about how many degrees are in a circle. There's a hint for the big idea of today's lesson. When we look at the pentagons, there is a gap there. So they don't fit together with no gaps or spaces. In step C, it says measure the angles at each vertex where the prisms meet or almost meet. Uh, add the angle measures together. So if we look at the interior angle of a hexagon, it measures to be 120 degrees. And there's three of them that meet at that vertex We'll think about what 3 times 120 is. Here we have the pentagon. The interior angle of a pentagon measures to be, it looks like it's 110, but if it's really accurate, it'd be 108 degrees. We have three of them that meet at a vertex, but there's still a gap. Well, think about what 3 times 108 would equal. Does that make a full circle? Okay. It says repeat steps A to C for different congruent prisms. So, Try that with the uh, triangle, try that with the square as well, uh, with, that, with that as the base. Or you can, if you can visualize it and make those measurements, you can do that as well. And it says to summarize your findings about the types of prisms that pack without gaps. Okay, after you've completed that, you have two reflecting questions to answer. Make sure you use the reflecting checklist to help you with answering those questions. And again, Mr. Roofer and I will be available uh, on Schoology today to help out with any questions you have too. This is not due until Tuesday morning. Good luck guys. Have a great day.